By the end of this video, you'll be adding icons to your apps without uploading any images. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to another Tunkable tip. This is undoubtedly one of my favorite features, the ability to add in icon fonts. So if you're watching this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've watched the first video where we uploaded TTF files to uh, add in custom fonts. What we're going to do is add in an icon font. One of my favorites is called Font Awesome. So head over to fontawesome.io and on the very first screen, we'll see there's a, a big button there that says download. That's how we get the, the zip file with all the assets and the resources that we want. The current version is Font Awesome 5, but I'm going to stick with Font Awesome 4 just because it's the one that I know. So if we scroll down a little bit here, they've got loads of really helpful resources. Let's take a look at this cheat sheet here. The reason this is important is because it gives us all of the Unicode values. So I'm going to just zoom in here a little bit. We can see all of the different, there's six or 700 different icons, and you can see the Unicode values. They're the ones that begin with the and and the hash tag or the hash symbol there. So let's uh, copy in Android or Amazon, one of these ones here. We just copy that. And now we have all the information we need to add Font Awesome into our app. So we'll add in one more um, label and following along from the previous tutorial, upload the TTF file, so unzip it, make sure all the um, files are extracted. We'll find font awesome uh, web fonts.ttf, and that gets uploaded there. Um, so in the label then, um, I'm gonna show you a few kind of potential pitfalls here, a few mistakes that can be made. Uh, one thing to do is just copy in the uh, Unicode like that and nothing happens. We just see the values that, that we've pasted in. So what you need to do is make sure you have enabled the HTML format. And this is what it should look like in your designer. You just see that little square there. However, it shouldn't look like that on your phone. So what we need to do then is um, make sure that we've got, <laughs> we've subscribed to the channel. Uh, so if you like these videos, if you want to see more tips, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. So what we need to do to fix that problem is to change the font typeface import. Um, this way now we've got our Amazon icon, our Android icon, whatever we want there. So you just copy and paste in literally any one of these, I think it's about 700 different Unicode values that you can use, paste it in there. Uh, this should be a little Android icon now when we preview it. So you won't see it in the designer. You're going to have to look at it on your phone. And there's the uh, Android icon there. So we can change the size, make it a bit bigger, because these are essentially treated like, like letters or characters in any other font. We can change the color, change the background color. And we've got all of these options available to us here. So let's look at this now. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's try and increase the size a little bit more. Um, so these are really handy then for, particularly for social media icons, that's probably one of the most popular ones. You can put in the Facebook icon, the Twitter icon, anything like that. Um, so the reason that works is because it's got HTML format in the label. What about for something like the button? So we can change the font um, typeface like that to font awesome, and we could paste in the Unicode just like this over here in the text value. Um, but if we go and preview this now, uh, let's take a look and see what happens. Okay, so we can see that the um, Unicode just appears on the um, on the button, and we need to actually decode the Unicode, if that makes sense. I uh, suppose it will in a minute. To do that, we're going to add in a web component. So let's go to connectivity and drag and drop in this uh, non-visible component. It's called a web component. So the button that we're looking for, the procedure we're looking for, is called HTML text decode. And the HTML text that we pass, that's the actual Unicode for the icon that we want. So we just join these two blocks together, find a blank string of text in there, and paste in the Unicode that, you're, that you want to use. Now when we refresh, when we click, it displays this little Android icon. So one more then, um, we, we've already learned about scaling um, icons and scaling images, so we can do the same thing here. As I mentioned, it's just a, a piece of text, so we can very easily and change the size here, multiplying it by some kind of scaling factor here. So let's make it uh, let's make it ten percent bigger, like we did in our previous tutorial. If we wanted to make it um, twenty five percent bigger, it'd be one point two five. So ten percent bigger is is uh, one point one. Um, if we wanted to make it twice as big, it'd be multiplied by two. But here we see it scales up, and because it's um, a letter, let's say it's a it's an icon, it looks really nice. 
So I hope you liked that tutorial. If you did, please click the like button. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Thanks to everybody that subscribed and liked on the most recent videos. Really, really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments, leave them uh, in the comment section below.